Time to wake up, sleepyhead. Breakfast time. Come on, let's go. Wake up. Come on. All right, I'm going to leave the phone here with you. I am going to get breakfast because we're supposed to be there. Dude, hurry up. Overpriced breakfast. Well, I think we need a haircut. Yeah. Me, both of us. Yeah. Oh, don't walk into the. This is a. This is glass, Peter. Don't How walk. You? Yesterday, Peter ran into that Not glass true. so hard, and then he like recoiled. Not this true. is our cute little villa that we've been staying at for the past couple days. It looks like it's a private pool, but there's like rooms all around here. It was super nice at first because no one was here, so it's like we had a private villa, even though we paid not that much for it. It's been super nice to just walk two feet and be at breakfast, and no one else has been having breakfast here, so it's been like a private dining experience. Does anyone still play Wordle, aside from Peter? Yes. It's been like a year and a half since it's come out. <laughs> he hasn't missed a day. He also always starts out with the same word, which defeats the fun of the game. No, I switched my first word recently. Oh, yeah? yeah? So you've started out with the same two words for the past no, year and a half? Salad, no. Salad? Salad. I'm not sure what it is. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Salad. Got it in three. Good job. Oof, don't let people see your tarot scores. No, I'm doing good now. I think today we're going to go check out um, the Coconut Hill and the Secret Beach today. Okay, my secret beach, morning time. Okay. Uh, morning time. Yeah. Go outside. Yeah. Right side, about 200 meter, coming one board, uh, secret beach. Yeah. You go into the mountain and go down. Got so. it. And then you might do coconut hill and, for and the coconut hill, the coconut hill, uh, two solutions. Or you work, you're working on the beach? Uh, whatever you recommend. Is there a um, good place to get a haircut around here? Uh, a what? A Hair haircut. Like Haircut. Ah, you have a, you have saloon, you have saloon, yeah, uh, 50 meter left side, opposite of the bus stand. Okay. Uh, on the, is one pharmacy, Yeah. Uh, pharmacy, one small shop, up is the saloon. Okay, you said there's a salon and it costs roughly two, one to like three dollars for a haircut for a guy, and are we both getting haircuts, or just me? Uh, I'm gonna get a haircut. You are? Yeah. And then he says that sometimes they'll, they'll charge tourists a little bit more, which is like, by more he means like by a dollar. Um, and so I think we're gonna go both get haircuts. I should probably find a photo of what I want. So I don't have to like try to explain it to them. Breakfast is served. We got an omelet, our coffee, an assortment of Fresh spreads. warm toast. Fresh toast, cheese omelet. We have been switching back and forth between like a regular breakfast and a Sri Lankan breakfast and today is... My favorite has been the hopper. It's like coconut and flour or coconut milk and flour. It's like a wok and you spread around the filling the outside and like a little layer on the bottom and it's just good. It's sort of like a pancake but it's like shaped into a bowl, bowl. and the edges are crispy. And you can put an egg in it if you wanted to. They're really good. Favorite, one of my favorite things so far. We also got some papaya juice. Mm. So fresh. All the juices we've had here are, have been so fresh, haven't they? Not gonna lie, the honey looks a little sus today. Looks like Did I see that? Looks like you have sprinkles on your toast. Why? Because I put the jam on it? Be right back. Mm. Well, well, well. How are you feeling? I think it was the fact that you just chugged that juice like there was no tomorrow. I'm gonna do... Haircut first, or you're on the beach first? I don't know. Is the tide going to be too high by the time we get there? You want some more? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay, anytime we go anywhere, I have to douse myself in mosquito spray. Or else. I get eaten 
even gonna lie, at the end of Egypt, I got, I had 44 dead bug bites on my body. It was like and the worst India. thing ever. And then, India. yeah, oh, sorry, India. And then what happened was I started getting all these mosquito bites. So it would literally be like a mosquito bite would be right next to my bed bug bite. And the whole thing was swollen and it was awful. Want some? This is natural bug spray though. This is all they sell. They don't sell like, I don't know, like the chemical bug spray, or at least we haven't seen any, which is kind of nice. But it's so strong. I sprayed this in, on Peter, like in near his face one day. Oh, and his lips went numb. <laughs> do, 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 do. You probably should have brought a water, huh? I think it'll be fine. You had all the papaya juice. Well, I did. So for my haircuts, I literally never do anything to my hair. Um, the last time I got it cut was when we were in Georgia, the country, and it cost six dollars. And what I did was I went on Pinterest, looked up black hair, black straight hair, curtain bangs, layers. Literally took the first photo and showed it to the lady, and she's like. Okay, bet. And this time I'm going to do the same thing. I, at breakfast, I just went on Pinterest again and took three screenshots. I'm just going to show them so I don't have to, um, oops, sorry. So I don't have to try to explain what I want. And... Did the Georgia lady do a good job? Yeah, she did. Um, there were some strains that were like weirdly not even, but it's fine. And anyways, if anyone messes up, I'll just like get it cut straight across, like short, whatever. Um, but yeah, I never do anything to my hair. I don't ever put heat on my hair. I don't ever do anything. I'm sure I would look much better if I tried. But I just don't. It's just too much. And I don't condition it. Ever. I shampoo and condition every day. That's such a lie. I used to. Okay. I would if well, I, I would. That, I'm about to expose you right now. Sometimes he'll wash his hair. And it'll just look so dirty afterwards. And I'll be like... Did you wash your hair? He's like, yeah, I did. Of course I did, but I didn't use shampoo. No. And sometimes he only uses conditioner. That's like unhinged behavior. No, I, I used to do shampoo conditioner like almost every day. This is what the little town looks like. It's pretty nice. It's pretty quiet except for the tuk-tuks that just like whip it down the road. Ooh. I feel like here would be like the best place to learn how to ride a motorbike, but we never got around to it. Um, One day. And part of me feels like I don't want to go to the hospital so soon again, so, you know. Get the little doggies. Aww. How cute the shop is. What are you saying? Like three salons next door. Really? There's so many cute little villas here. A bunch of unfinished buildings too. This is the main road. Oh my gosh, look at that sky. You see that was right there? Oh right there, it's the wall. Ah. I'm scared. Wow, this is a hostel. It's a hostel in here too. Open. Hello. Hello. Um, how much for a haircut for me? Um, one thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred. Stoic. One, two, three, four, five dollars. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm.
expecting him to cut more off. I feel like I didn't get any off. Um, but Peter's watching. He says he did like two inches. Um, also, I love the fact that my bangs, whew, he fully just eyeballed it. And then after he cut, he like put them two together and he's like, seems legit. I respect it though. $5 haircut. It's $5, right? Yeah, a little under five and then we tipped like... Two or three? Two or three, yeah. And I, then he got some pictures of my hair for the gram, for his uh, Instagram. Go ahead. I probably need a haircut. I definitely need a haircut. But I just don't know. No, I'm just, just when I get a haircut, I just get it like really short every like two months. Like finance bro vibes. But I want to see how long I can get. So I think I'm just going to keep on putting I like your a long hat, hair. Wearing a I hat and letting it grow. I don't like the fact that you don't shampoo it sometimes. That's gross. It's alright. That is gross. He no, probably would have no given... No one too impressed. <laughs> except you. <laughs> he probably would have given us a good deal. If you had gotten yours too. Yeah, it's okay. Oh well. I have this huge bald spot on the back of my head. Luckily, it's like right here under all my hair and not like right here. But he was like brushing out my hair and he's like, oh my God, what's wrong with your head? Bless you. Um, and then I told him, I'm like, I don't know. My hair just fell out. And what did he say? Oh, he recommended me to a doctor here. That's really nice of him. Once I had a bald spot up here, um, and then I went to the dermatologist in the US and of course they're gonna like give you shots like in your head and oh, I'm never doing it again. I mean, it obviously helped because my hair started growing back, but basically they numb the area with this like spray. And then, <laughs> ew, I'm getting like nauseous just thinking about it. They like stick the needle in a bunch of different times like in that area. And because your head is like basically like numbed and frozen from the spray, it just feels like crunchy. You can hear the crunch and it goes into your scalp. Ugh! Okay, now Peter's saying it's uneven. He's oh like, no, it's, it's even. kind of uneven. You'll see later. Wait, I have to go into this one. Look. Where is it uneven? Oh I, god, this is so uneven. I don't know, it just feels like this is like a little longer than this. 